guys, it's the boss lady here coming to you with a quick little uh, DIY that I want to do for my Keurig stuff. Um, I am going to be, um, I don't know what you call it, building a basket or something to house my K-cups, my sugar, and my creamer. Um, I just want to make it look a little bit more festive and make it look um, decent when, you know, pulling it out to, you know, make my coffee in the morning. Um, so I pulled out everything that I need and let's get started. So the first thing I have is my basket that I got, um, at a thrift store. It was $2.49 pink tag sale. So I got it for $1.25 or actually two baskets for $2.49. So I have this one. This is the smaller of the two and then the larger one is on the table. Uh, what I just pulled out is uh, some cardboard. It's actually just um, two pieces of cardboard um, from a, a box that I just cut the little flaps off. And so I ha already have it taped a little bit in the middle. I'm going to reinforce it just so that I can have a solid base because as you can see, you can, you know, see, you know, right through the basket. And with the K-Cups, they're so small that they would go right through. So I needed a solid base. Um, at the bottom of the basket. So let's get started with this quick little craft. And all I have is cardboard, I have my orange and white napkins, some scissors, I have some black duct tape here, as well as some clear um, packaging tape, my K cups, my sugar and cream, and then I'll also show you where I'm going to house this in the kitchen. So I'm just going to reinforce the cardboard here just so that it doesn't, you know, flip around or become too flimsy. I just want to reinforce it. So I'm just going to wrap the tape around here, just like so. Smooth it through. And then just cut it off. So now it's wrapped around both sides, and now it's not flimsy. It's, it's straight solid. So now what I plan to do is um, I'm going to wrap this cardboard with the orange and white napkin. And the reason why I'm using a napkin as opposed to a towel or something, because a napkin is easier for me to just, you know, toss up, get rid of. So I'm going to tape this to the cardboard. Um, give me a second here with the tape. And I'm using the packaging tape as opposed to... Um, Oh, it's hard. Hold on one second. <laughs> okay, as I was saying, I'm using the packaging tape because it's just a little easier. Plus, if if by chance someone comes by and they see the the little um, basket, they won't see you know the black tape. They'll just you know see just the napkin. Um, so what I'm going to do is just kind of tape this down so that it doesn't uh, flip up. And it doesn't have to be perfect because this part is actually going to be laid down. So I'm just going to wrap it, tape it down, and then as far as the ends of the cardboard, when I, you know, wrap the ends, I'm just going to fold it like a little, um, like a present. So you know how you just kind of fold the corners in, you know, like so, like this, and then just fold it down. And then it's folded over. And like I said, this is the side that they'll see. This side they won't. Um, but if by chance they do see this side, they won't see the black tape. They'll just see clear tape. So I'm just going to do that on both sides real fast. And I'm trying to make sure that I don't allow that tape to fall back down. Because with my nails, it's very hard to get that tape uh, you know, get the lip of the tape. And of course I dropped the tape, so <laughs> I had to restart over with getting the tape started again. <sighs> but this is my last time having to use the tape, so. And I brought out two napkins. I wasn't sure if I would need one or two, but one is suffice because you know it's going to be on a shelf it's not like you know it's sitting out in the broad daylight of things so people won't see it so here's my cardboard this is the back side all taped up this is the front so then i just stick it inside of my basket 
and my basket looks like that. How neat is that? And even though we're, you know, embarking on, you know, holidays and things like that, um, I still gonna I'm gonna keep the orange in my kitchen because that is the main base color of the kitchen. So um, I don't mind having this, you know, this color or this design. Um, now for people who want to really like change out everything in their kitchen, you know, if you find some festive, um, Halloween or Christmas or even harvest napkins, you can also, you know, switch your napkins out. So, I mean, and because it's a napkin, it's not like it's costing you a lot of money because a pack of napkins at Dollar Tree, you know, you get a whole pack for a dollar and depending on the design, you get a significant amount in the packaging. So now I'm going to just add in my K-Cups. And in no random order, I'm just putting them in here. Um, I've already kind of tested this out to see if they all would fit. Um, because I haven't stockpiled and chosen the uh, flavor or brand that I really, really like, this is just a multi-grouping uh, multi of K-Cups here, which is fine. Um, once I get more K-Cups, then I will go ahead and, you know, swap these out, put these more in stockpile, and then put the ones that are my favorites out in the open. So now I'm just going to add in my creamer, add in my sugar right here, and then here is my filter, and I'll just take this out. Add that in, and voila! There it is. So that is my new little basket for my K-Cups. Um, now let me show you exactly where I'm going to house it. So on this little shelf here that you can see, this is where I'm gonna house my basket. Um, so I have my sugar and my cream right in front. Um, I have the handle sitting out here so that way, um, when I want to get some coffee, depending on, you know, if I have a variety pack or just one pack, I can just pull this out, look in there, see what I want to get, as you can see, see what I want to get, and then, you know, I can just slide it back in, kind of like a little drawer here. So that's where I house it, and it's right in front of the microwave, as well as my Keurig here. This is my cover for the Keurig, and all I have to do is just pull this off and go ahead and get the Keurig started. So that is my coffee station for now. <laughs> um, my Keurig and how I'm gonna store my coffee, uh, my K-Cups. But yes, so that's what I'm you know, planning to do. I think that it's gonna work out great for us. Um, down below here, I have a cabinet. And so this will be reorganized so that when I do have stockpile of K-Cups, if they don't go in the pantry, they will go in here. And then actually my plates and things that are right here, they're actually going to be moved. But this is my K-Cups area station for now. So thanks for watching. Thanks for watching my quick little DIY. And I'll see you guys in a new video. Bye-bye.